All right. Guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Guitarsenal, and uh, we're going to be talking about a really cool overdrive pedal, in my opinion, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right out there on the, like, here's the, here's the mountain, here's the top of the little mountain, and there's me on top, and I'm just going to, I'm going to yell it right now. This is, in my opinion, like the Nashville secret pedal. And, and you know, insert your, like, Jack Sparrow finger wiggling or whatever you want to do, but this is a, uh, a Nobles Super Overdrive Special, or an Overdrive Special, ODRS. Uh, this one has been reboxed uh, by Analog Man. And, uh, you know, basically he does do some reboxing. Uh, these pedals were put out probably around the uh, early to mid 80s. And uh, they were just meant to be a very nice sounding overdrive pedal with a three band EQ. Um, they were German engineered and they were Korean produced. Not saying anything bad about Korea or anything, but uh, the, the housings on the original pedals weren't really all that great. Uh, they do still make a version of this pedal, but you don't want that one. You want the old version. The one that looks like the, the, the seasick green color with the ugly black letters and the just really deliberate white ugly letters on it. I mean, they're, they're just, they're super ugly looking pedals. They're just like this dark baby puke green. Um, but that's the one you want, trust me. The, the casings on the pedals, the way that the jacks are mounted on the original pedals, they kind of have those jacks that are literally just attached to the, the board itself uh, on the pedal. Uh, I had Analog Man rebox this pedal into a three pole double uh, throw true bypass and into a nice uh, large enclosure that can take the rigors of being kicked around, stomped around. And he used, I believe, like really good quality switchcraft uh, jacks and everything and got rid of that whole uh, orga you know, organization of having the uh, jacks tied in directly to the board. In my opinion, this is one of the best overdrives out there. And I've experimented and owned quite a few over the years. I've been playing over 20 years. And uh, this is the pedal I always go back to. I have the volume on the guitar up. The uh, drive on the pedals, you know, about halfway roughly, but um, we can see it's not very noisy and it gives just a nice transparent, just wonderful kind of tone that I really like, especially for strats and tellies. And you can really get a nice uh, amount of flexibility out of a pedal like this. We will go through some of the sounds, but I just love the way that it sounds. <laughs> If I take and add a little bit of compression, I'm a big fan of compression now. We're going to just add that in there. Anyway, you get the point there. Um, we'll go through some of the settings, but I really like the pedal. I think it's kind of neat. And one of the cool things I like about it as well is how well it cleans up. So right now it's full out and, and we're just keeping the settings the same. I'm not gonna change anything just yet, but I want you to hear. There's a nice, uh, nice sound there. All right, we'll dial out a little bit of the volume. Yeah. Yeah, that cleans up nice. That's with it dialed out a bit. Now, we'll go back up on the volume on the guitar and we'll play around with some of the settings on the uh, Overdrive Special. 
Unfortunately, this is not a pedal that's really available anymore. You have to find them kind of on the used market. I, dare I say vintage. I hate to use the word vintage when it comes to stuff from the 80s because uh, it makes me feel old, but it is considered a vintage pedal. Let's, uh, let's bring some of the drive up because <laughs> more drive is always better. And I'll tell you what, since it's got a three band EQ, you notice that I've got the mids kind of sweeped out a bit. Let's bring some of the highs in just a bit, about halfway. We'll bump the mid a bit and we'll break out the bass a little bit. And I'm gonna leave the level kind of where it's at because it's set the way I want. And let's just, uh, let's just see how this sounds. Bridge pick up. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little out of hand, a little crazy there. All right, so we'll take the, I'll tell you, this is the way I like to run the pedal is with the lows kind of high, bring the mids out a good bit and the highs at about 30% and the drive about 50%. This is more akin to the way I like to run the pedal. Let's run it on the bridge pickup this time and we'll roll that tone out a bit and just see what kind of sound we get right here. That's not bad. Uh, we do have a splash of DM2 running. I, dang it, I forgot to mention that. But I do have a Boss DM2 with just a splash of delay. I'm gonna add the reverb back in on the Mesa Boogie Mark V. We're running into a uh, 100 watt uh, Mesa Boogie Mark V on the uh, we're on we're on the clean channel on the tweed setting on the 10 watt setting. So that gives it kind of a nice fendery clean. But I like a lot of dirt in my playing already, and. Uh, Let's add the reverb back in on the Mark V and let's just give it a listen. The reason I say it's a Nashville pedal is because it really nails that kind of crunchy, bassy, scooped mid kind of sort of classic Nashville sound that a lot of these young guitarists are kind of looking for. And if you've listened to any country albums where, you know, there's a bit of kind of rocking sound going on and some just really dirty sounding chicken picking going on, this pedal really nails it. And uh, if you ask, you know, there's a lot of guys in Nashville uh, that are using this particular pedal and it's kind of their secret weapon. And uh, there's probably some people will be mad at me for even letting the world know that it even exists because it's kind of a sleeper. The Nobles Overdrive is a sleeper pedal. And I can't say this for certain, but I'm pretty sure they use the same chips in there as like the original Ibanez Tube, tube Screamer, like the TS-808, uh, the one that's you know popular and used for Stevie Ray Vaughan. Um, the thing is, this is more flexible than a Tube Screamer. It uses the same type of chip in there or whatever, but this is more flexible than a Tube Screamer because you get the adjustable EQ, which I find to be really, really handy. And it was one of the things that always drove me to this pedal and what I liked about it. And at one point, what ended up happening to me is I stepped on it weird or something happened and I broke one of the jacks off of the board and I felt like an idiot. And I threw it back in the box and, and threw it in a, you know, storage. And I thought, well, maybe one day I'll fix it. And I got to thinking, I was like, hey, I'm going to send it out to uh, Analog Man and have him rebox it. And the turnaround on the rebox was really quick. Uh, the price was very fair that he quoted me to do the Reeboks uh, and uh, very professional turnaround, very fast turnaround. And I would recommend anybody who is looking to have a vintage pedal reboxed uh, to get with Analog Man because he does wonderful work and uh, very professional work and stands behind what he does. Um, it's a great pedal. I love it. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed hearing it. Hopefully I can give it some justice and make it ha sound halfway decent. 
Uh, one thing I didn't mention, the guitar we're using, this is a 52 custom shop uh, relic, heavy relic from Fender. Uh, I love this guitar. It's got the kind of fat V-neck on it. Um, anyway, that's the Nobles uh, Super Overdrive in a nutshell. Um, I, let, let's try, I tell you what, let's try bumping that drive on up. Let's leave my EQ settings where they're at. Let's bump that drive, and it's a stupid nuclear mode, all right? And then let's back off that volume again to see how well the pedal cleans up on the higher end of the drive spectrum. <laughs> Not bad. Let's uh, let's get on the neck pickup, bring the uh, tone back up. Let's try cleaning it up a bit when the drive setting's kind of on the stupid end of the spectrum. I say stupid, but it's a good thing. <laughs> That's with it backed off. Let's go even further. Let's see if we can get kind of a surrogate clean tone out of the overdrive here. I know it can do it because it's on my board and I love this particular pedal, but I'm just trying to kind of show you how useful this pedal really is. It, in my opinion, gets some just wonderful tones and I really love it. <laughs> Not bad. Let's let's take out some of those highs a bit with the tone control. And I've got I've only got the volume on the guitar up about 30%. Let's see how this sounds. drive Anyway, that's the uh, Nobles Overdrive Special. Um, hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea what it sounds like. 
If you guys want me to sort of like show this off against different guitars, different amps, if it's something you're just really serious about and you want to know, let me know. I'll try to make a video to accommodate that. Um, guys, we are going to plan a bunch of overdrive shoot-offs on this channel. We'll get together, you know, I don't know, five really cool overdrives that have similar voicings to them, and we'll just kind of pit them up against each other and see what it's all about. Um, the reason I made this video is because I really like this pedal a lot. It's one of my favorites, uh, and it lives on my board. It will never leave my board. And, uh, you know, for some of these folks out here that are struggling with overdrive tones and really you know, aren't sure what they're looking for. This pedal has a lot to offer. And guys, don't think that this is the only thing out there. There's plenty of other manufacturers and making awesome pedals, honestly, that are probably even better than this one. But I thought I'd make this video because there are a lot of Nashville guys using this pedal. I don't know if they're reboxed or not, but this is a Nashville secret weapon, whether they'll admit it or not. I know, I know the sound of this pedal. I know the sound of the TS-808 and the TS-9. And uh, there's a lot of Nashville guys using this pedal, and it just sounds wonderful on country recordings. And uh, it's a great blues rock pedal, classic rock, anything you want to get out of it. Man, in my opinion, this pedal's the bee's knees, and I wanted to share it with everybody. So, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Remember, we post every Monday and Friday. If you like this video, consider subscribing, supporting us. Uh, we greatly appreciate any comments, suggestions you might have. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And, uh, guys, we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.